All right, after you've set up your R Markdown website and got it running on GitHub, this is something we're going to go over in class, your next assignment will be to uh, begin working on some programming challenges. And these are listed here. There's a link you can click on. If you want to check them out, we can just uh, open up a new tab here. And what you'll see is a list of easier problems. Is scroll down, here, here they are and uh, some harder problems. And we're going to be working on these for the next few weeks as a way to learn basic scripting in R. Okay, let's go to RStudio where we have the code for this website. And uh, let's take a second to remind ourselves what this website looks like. So first I'm just going to uh, build the website. Wait a couple seconds here as it compiles. Here it is, shown in the viewer pane. Click this button, we can check it out on a browser. It's got a front page and a couple other pages. We're gonna be working on this journal page. We're gonna edit it and then uh, make it your own. We'll use this page to solve the problems. In fact, the contents of this page currently explain what I'm asking you to do, which is basically to edit this file and this first part shows you some ways and some things you can do to edit the file. And once you're uh, ready to get started, uh, I want you to list each problem. So here we have problem one, and then write code to solve what that problem is. Once you've solved it, go on to the next problem and so on. And as you can see, this document is, it's got a little table of contents so we can easily click through It'll be a nice way to organize all your problems. So I've, I've actually solved problems one to three for you already, and the idea is you would uh, get started with problem four and continue writing your code. So I'm gonna pretend I'm you for a second and show you how I would go about editing the files in RStudio to, to start working on these problems. So let's go back to RStudio. The first thing I wanna do is, uh, let's look at our files here. So we're going to be editing the journal.rmd. I've already got that opened up in the tab here. And I'm going to make some changes to this to rename it. So I'm going to call it basic problems. Um, so that's just going to rename the, the title that gets displayed on the web page. I want to change the name of this file from journal.rmd uh, here, rename. Let's do our basics. So now that's called our basics. And I want to uh, change the name of this file in the YML file, which is going to control some parts of the page. So I'm going to call this, um, let's call it our basics. And the way I spelled that, I think, was with a lowercase, got to be specific press save. So now if we look at our web page, uh, we should see that uh, it's called our basics. Uh, and oh yeah, look, I'm trying to click on this and I can't see the page. And that's because I haven't compiled yet. So for example, I renamed this thing, but I haven't recompiled the website. Let's just quickly do that. And now we'll see if I reload this, uh, the, the page is showing up and we've renamed the, the title here to basic problems. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can follow these instructions, delete everything in here and start fresh to start working on these problems. All right, I wanna be working in our basics and I'm going to start right here and go down and delete everything. So we leave this top stuff the same and I'm going to do three hashtags, problem one. Well, actually, let's give it just uh, one hashtag, problem one. And what is problem one? Let's go back to our website. It says do simple math with numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. 
Okay, I'm going to copy this into RStudio as a note to myself. I'm going to make an R code chunk. The hotkey for that on a Mac is Option Command I, and or you can write it out: three back ticks, left curly brace, the letter R, right curly brace, as many spaces as you want, and then three more back ticks. So let's quickly. Do some addition, 1 plus 1, do some subtraction, 4 minus 3, some multiplication, and some di division. All right, we can check that all of this works by running play. And so that's demonstrating that you can do some basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, division in R. Uh, let's knit this document. Take a look at the output. All right, so we've got basic problems, problem number one, we've got a little note to ourselves, and we can see the R code along with the output for each statement. We've solved problem number one. Let's go on to problem number two. And what is that? Put numbers into variables, do simple math on the variables. All right, let's try that. Make a code chunk. I'm going to create a variable called A. I'm going to put 55 into it. I'm going to create a variable called B. I'm going to put 30 into it. And then I'm going to say A plus B. I'm going to run this. And there we have 85. Now if we knit our document, we will see that, uh, well, actually, Let's take a look at it in the browser. It's easier to look at. Now we've got problem one listed here. We've got problem two listed here, and we're well on our way. Now there's only two more things I want to talk about to get you started. The first is what happens if your code doesn't work? So let's say you're working on problem number two, and maybe you did something like this. You put the word one into a variable. And maybe you wanted to see if you could add uh, a 55 with the word one. And if you press play here, you're going to see you get an error, which also means if you knit this, you're going to get an error. And that means your website won't compile. If you have an R code chunk like this that has an error in it, but you still want to knit so that you can demonstrate your work. Here's how to do it. Put a comma inside these curly braces, then type eval equals false. What's going to happen here is this code chunk will be displayed, but it won't be run. So that will allow you to uh, knit your website, but it won't have any output. And um, so that will allow you to demonstrate your work even if uh, there's bugs in the code. Finally, uh, how do you push these changes back to the website? So right now we've just been making changes to the local files in our directory. We've made some changes to the site.yml file. We've made changes to this journal.rmd file, which is now called our basics. If we go back to the GitHub desktop, we should see a list of all of our changes here. Uh, I'm going to say, give a description, added our basics, and uh, then I'm going to commit these changes, and I want to push. Wait a couple seconds, and uh, let's see what's happened here. If we go to our, if we go to our the web version of our website, uh, we should be able to see that these things have been updated. All right, that's all for now. Um, see you in class.